<laughs> gold investment. How to invest in gold bullion. In this video, I'm going to outline how you can invest in gold bullion. First, I'm an investor, not an advisor. And this video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. My opinions are my own, so be sure to investigate and ask questions and make sound decisions on any investment. In a moment, I'm going to tell you the one single reason you should consider diversifying your portfolio with an investment in gold. Gold bullion is physical investment grade gold usually sold in bars of various different weights. So here are some of the pros of owning physical gold. First, of course, you own the stuff. It's yours. You can store it wherever you want. Second, because you have physical ownership of a commodity of intrinsic value, it may give you some peace of mind so that if all other assets drop in value because of a depression or market crash, you at least have something that will hold on to value in the event that you lose everything else because of a depression. Now there are cons of owning physical gold that you have to be aware of. The first is that you will pay a sales markup for the gold. In other words, you're, the, the broker or whoever you deal with is going to put a, a charge on top of that because that's how the broker makes its money. You're going to have to pay for secure storage and that either means building a safe on your property, which I wouldn't really recommend, or paying a, a monthly or annual fee to a secure storage site to hold your gold in a safe place. You're also going to have to insure your gold against loss or theft. And depending upon how you go about it, your gold may or may not be easy to sell. So if you have to be in a position to maintain liquidity, gold may not be the best investment for you. On the other hand, if you can allocate a certain portion or percentage of your assets to gold at, to hold value, not to, not to increase uh, hugely like a stocks will in a good market, but just to hold value in the case of loss, then that might be a consideration that offsets the liquidity issue for you. So where do you buy gold bullion? Well, there are lots of online brokers and you wanna make sure that you only deal with reputable people and reputable institutions. Amazingly enough, there are ATM machines where you can buy gold in Las Vegas and New York City and some of the larger cities around the world. You can actually put in cash or a credit card and buy smaller increments of, of gold bullion bars. You can buy gold on eBay. I do not recommend this because uh, you just don't know what you're going to get. It's very easy to take a bar of lead and put a veneer of gold over it and sell it fraudulently as a gold bar. So be very careful about that. Um, what to buy? So only buy a bar that features the name of its manufacturer, its weight and purity, which is usually expressed as 99.99% stamped on the face. So every, every good gold bar should have this information on it. Um, understand that not all investment quality gold is equal. And you want to buy gold in workable sizes to preserve some liquidity. So for example, if you have $15,000 and you buy, let's just say a 10 ounce, let's say gold is selling at $1,500 an ounce and you buy a, uh, let's say a 10 ounce bar for $15,000, that might be harder to sell than if you bought 15 one ounce bars at $1,500 a piece. It might be easier to sell the smaller bars than the larger bars. So you need to consider how long you're going to be holding gold, how much liquidity you need, and thinking about the size of the bars you want to purchase in consideration of what you might have to sell in the future. Earlier I'd said we would cover the single reason to consider diversifying part of your portfolio with gold. Notice I said part of your portfolio. I would never recommend putting all of your portfolio on gold. And I'm not an advisor anyway, so you'd have to figure this out with your financial advisor and tax advisor. Um, you may not profit from owning gold, 
but at least you will own a desirable, intrinsically valuable, tangible asset that will always have some value. The value might drop, but gold will always have value as long as human culture survives. Gold investment, in my opinion, is a defensive strategy in an unstable and unpredictable economic environment. And that's what I think we're facing right now. So let me know whether or not this video makes sense to you by leaving a comment and a like in the box below. And if you like this video, subscribe so you can be notified of my upcoming videos. In the next video, I'm going to be covering whether or not you should consider collecting gold coins as a form of investment in gold. So we'll see you there.